Hey everybody, Alex Elisek with Breezeway Productions here and we are at the world premiere for Open Heart. We are going to hear from some New York Rangers past and present about the world premiere of Henrik Lundqvist's film. Check out the interviews and thanks for watching Breezeway Productions. Go Rangers! Well, they love you! <laughs> well, <laughs> you got the fans chanting in the back, they love you. <laughs> Sir, thank you so much for stopping to speak. Uh, we're here at the Tribeca Film Festival for the premiere of Open Heart. So tell me a little bit about Open Heart. Yeah, you know, I, a lot of things happened throughout my life in a 12-month span. I, I left the Rangers and, and, you know, some health issues with the open heart surgery and setbacks and eventually I left the game of hockey, something that was part of me for 30 years. And I think a lot of athletes face these questions where, okay, what's on the other side and how do I deal with these emotions? And there's a lot of soul searching. So, yeah, there's some parts of my career in there, but it's a lot of the questions that, that I was faced with uh, when I was about to walk away from the game of hockey. Sure. When people say that you could be uh, in the discussion of the best goalkeeper ever to play the game, how do you feel when people say that to you? Well, it's very hard to, to compare goalies over generations because the game is so different. Uh, I, you know, my goal was for people to remember me as a guy that was very passionate about the game and I gave everything all the time, but uh, I don't think I belong to up there with the best, but I, I really enjoyed my time in New York and the Rangers, and I hope people that watch this film understand how much the Rangers means to me uh, throughout my career, but still to this day and forever, really. It's, it's been my family, yeah. really. As we heard from the crowd before, they were loving you and they were all about uh, the King coming here for the premiere. Uh, in closing, is there anything you'd like to say to the Tribeca Film Festival for the acceptance? Yeah, you know, the fans are a huge part of my journey with the Rangers. I, I just love that interaction we had for so long, for 15 years, and it made my time with the Rangers very special to, to have that support from the fans. So it's great to see so many, so many people here with, with Ranger jerseys, and even yourself. <laughs> oh, of course, 100%. Rangers all day. We're very, very happy that you're here, and it's a wonderful thing to see this film in the festival. Uh, and last question that I have is, uh, currently, Rangers have a new coach, also Shuster, how do you believe that he's playing and what do you see towards next season? Well, Igor has been absolutely amazing since he re, you know, entered the league and, and he's one of the best in the game. Uh, he's very impressive. As a former goalie, you appreciate watching great goaltending, right? And with the new coach, uh, Lavi was actually the coach that I talked to when I signed in Washington to go there uh, a couple years ago. And you know, he's, he's, he's a great coach. I, I think it will be a great fit and players will really enjoy playing for him. Awesome. Thank you so much for your insight and congratulations. Thank you very much. Speaking with? Carl Hagelin. Hey Carl, thanks for uh, stopping to talk with us. So tell me what brings you out tonight? Uh, well, I, I know it's a big moment for Hank. He asked me if I want to come uh, be a part of this, uh, the premiere of his documentary. Uh, I got a couple questions right as, you know, to be a part of myself of this documentary and kind of uh, explain my side of the of this story because he was staying at my house when he found out about all this so uh, it's fun to be here and represent represent him and just kind of you know see how how great he's doing and how much uh, joy he has in his life right now so how was your experience when you were uh, playing with him in the NHL uh, obviously being a New York Ranger yourself well it was awesome you're you're playing with a with a superstar uh, someone that you know he, he really was the king of New York he uh, you know, outside the rink, everyone loved to be around him. He's, he's probably the one player I played with that felt most like a uh, like a Hollywood star compared to all the other good players I played with. And you know, as a teammate, he was always great. He competed hard, and uh, he was great to me when I got in the league. And uh, thoughts on some recent Ranger news? Uh, new coach, new head coach that's coming in. Uh, thoughts on how the season ended and how the season is going to be looking off season and future and towards the future for the Rangers. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, did. I you know, I, I had Lavin in the, in Washington. Uh, I thought it was a great coach, so they got a they got a great one there. That's for sure. Uh, being a New York Ranger, uh, tell me about that experience and wh and what does this city mean to you? Oh, I mean, I'm a Ranger for life. Uh, you know, there's the expression true blue and. Um, you know, my three-year-old daughter's got a Ranger jersey, and 
I'm used to seeing lots of enthusiastic Ranger fans, but not in this setting. So this is really cool to be at Tribeca Film Festival, to have so many Lundquist fans and Ranger fans here to support this amazing project, which goes beyond Henrik as a hockey player. Well, and New York Rangers fans are definitely going to tune into this and check it out. Uh, my next question for you deals with uh, the season, how it concluded, the offseason, and the future. Uh, thoughts on how do you feel about how that ended with the Devils, and how is it going to be for next season? Oh, I'm sure that's a tough, uh, a tough pill to swallow. But you know what? Uh, you know, every challenge makes you stronger if you respond the right way. And the Rangers have a lot of character uh, and leadership, and I'm sure they'll bounce back next year. All of the fans are rooting for them as well. And in closing, what would you like to say to the Tribeca Film Festival for the acceptance of this film? Oh, just, just amazing. You know, I, I think, like I said. You know, the special thing about Hank is not what he did on the ice, but his mindset as a person. He always wants to get better and grow as a human being and to share his story, that what he's been through and how he's evolved as a person. Uh, I think it's a gift that, that we all can share. Well, speaking with Aaron Boros. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, tell me a little bit about your involvement with this project, Open Heart. Well, uh, obviously a teammate of Henrik's for a number of years, and uh, we have a couple businesses together. And, uh, you know, when this whole thing uh, flared up about two, three years ago now, I guess, um, we were actually shooting together, trying to get them into game shape for the Capitals, uh, kind of to make their playoff run. Obviously, it uh, never came to fruition, but um, being kind of a long lockstep through the whole process, it's... Uh, pretty interesting and amazing to see where everything has come. So speaking of the Capitals, since you brought it up, new signing, new coach for the Rangers, looking forward to next season. Uh, what are your thoughts on the signing of the new coach for the Rangers? Yeah, um, exciting. I think we need a well-tenured coach, not that we didn't have one this, uh, this previous past few years, but uh, Peter comes with a lot of experience and uh, knows the conference very well, which, which is important. You want a guy with uh, existential knowledge of the teams they're playing against and uh, this team's window I feel you know based on age and salaries is uh, you know the Rangers will always figure out a way to uh, reload but this is a this is I feel a two or three year window with this exact group right now so I think it was a good hire. Very good I know that the fans are very eager already to get back to it next season uh, so open heart um, what was your involvement? Well, I know that you worked with him on the team, so if you can describe Henrik Lundqvist in, in uh, one sentence, what would it be? You know, he's kind of a type A personality, where uh, if you don't get along with Hank, you're most likely the issue. Um, as far as uh, athletically, uh, he hates losing. And uh, practice, I mean, there's practices where the team wouldn't score a goal in a whole 45-minute, 60-minute practice, which is unheard of. But uh, extreme competitor, uh, one of the best of our generation, and uh, I'm happy for uh, all, all the opportunities that are coming to him post-career right now.